Uh, wait, what? Where, where is... Ah! We can now do that quest because it's unlocked because Catherine's now available. The gaze from a certain god, the unexpected appearance of the Fatui harbinger, Il Tore, means that the Fatui must have played a part in a nefarious plot involving the Sumeria Academia. You must actually. To be fair, their sage, their grand sage was a bit iffy from the beginning. So I don't think you can wholly put all the blame on the Fatui's shoulders. He's kind of responsible himself. Gimme, 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 yeah! Got it. Now that sound effects included. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a slow process, all right. Ah. Is the reason we're only going to the outskirts? Hold it right there. Tashfin, an Eremite mercenary. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. I don't know what trap you could have possibly laid, uh, but more well, like your ambush, which is not the same as a trap. But you don't think the hunters are just going to stand back and watch? <laughs> are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Core of 30? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. That's probably El Dottore. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Sounds like the doctor. But why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? Local mercenaries might have an edge over the Fatui. Maybe he's taking advantage of the Academy's resources. <laughs> Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Bring it, bitch. Uh, you're up, traveler. And Tainori comes through mid battle. As Got if. Her. Game's nowhere near that cool. Oh, look at that. He did it single handedly. New punch. Be still. Ow. Ow. It isn't over yet. Here comes reinforcements. It's fine, Paimon. I'm not even gonna break a sweat. Wind, hear me. <laughs> that was pretty rough. Not really. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? They seemed pretty plebeian to me. It probably won't be long before we see more of them. Yeah. Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. God damn it, we're fugitives again? Ah, but you already had to run around in Azuma but try not to run to any guards for a bit. And now we could do the same as Samara? <laughs> guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Uh, no uh, idea. Going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. Nobody I know needs peaches, but we'll take them anyway. Hi. Tignati, save us all. Where am I meeting you? I don't, I don't really, well, Kale's over there. Maybe we're going towards Kale. Oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What are you two doing back here? What, have I kidnapped Tignati? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I, to be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. Oh god, how long is it going to be until we find a cure for the Elazar? Hopefully it's not going to take that long. I mean, it seems like it's a big important milestone in the game. 
for Samaru. So it, it definitely is something that's going to have to be momentous and not just like a side quest, but I don't really, I don't really see it happening pre-desert. It's going to happen after, surely. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. It's for the best. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Oh, Kale! It seems that curing Irmansul is our only chance. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him! The Academia guys took him away. Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. To where? <gasps> He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation! I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time though. He didn't give a reason? No. I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. Was it his handwriting? I'm starting to wonder that he's been kidnapped, Kole. I would be a little concerned. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. I think he's been kidnapped. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's DI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. And by the way, I'm assuming it's not actually pronounced Pardis DI or whatever she's pronouncing it as. It, it looks like that's incorrect. Just gonna jump in there. Do I know what it's supposed to be? Absolutely not. I don't speak any of the languages involved in this language, but it, it sounds wrong. <laughs> Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party DI. It just sounds, you know, how Westerners just butcher other languages. That's what it sounds like to me. So even if that is the correct pronunciation, it sounds wrong. Please take care of yourself, Kali. Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. I think I'll be rescuing Master Tignari more than anything. Sure, I'll, I'll be sure to pass on your uh, regards. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kali. Catherine is busy completing. Son of a bitch. Are you shitting me? Why, wait, 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 wait. What is Catherine gonna do with anything? What's Catherine gonna do with anything? Go to Paddy's the eye. What does Catherine have to do with that? Does... <laughs> I guess the Archon quest assumes you've finished Tignati's story quest? I'm thinking and maybe Catherine's body is being commandeered by Nahida again? I'm not too sure. Um, I freaking hate that, I've said it many times, every single time I hit this freaking crossroads, I despise that Genshin does this. Like, excuse me, that I'm not following your quest order, but you don't get to have a say in that. They're, they're not like a quest chain where you've got to have the prerequisite finished before you can move on to the next stage. They're literally separate quests, three separate quests. You do not get to dictate what order I do this shit in. I hate them when they do this. Fuck me. Okay, now we don't have a choice. We've got to go talk to freaking Catherine and freaking Samaru. And start the quest. I don't want to start just yet. So cool, great. Tignari's story quest line is now going to get fucked up and split in the middle because I can't do it all together because I don't want to do it now. Speak to me. How is it an urgent commission you're not even talking to me? It should be a spoken quest line, should it not? Then I have It's good to see you. I've got an urgent commission I'd like to give you to. God, it doesn't take much to piss me off. Now I'm angry. The commissioner is a monster merchant who is currently in Aru village. According to him, his associate and the sumter beasts they leashed out to a least, sorry, out to an academia researcher have been missing in the desert for a while now. He's hoping that a highly experienced adventurer can take his commission and confirm the status of his associate and the sumter beasts. What the hell is a sumter beast? Oh, the big sturdy thingies. You've been highly experienced adventurers. You're both highly experienced. So your commission leader should be a centrifuge, I hope. 
Missing in the desert. That certainly is worrying. Let's go take a look, Lunar. This is not the quest. The commissioner is named Boniface. Is this doing the last quest in my list? Not the second? The commissioner is named Boniface, and he's still in Ari Village now. He can fill you in on the specifics. Safe travels you too. Okay, that gets her out of that quest line. Fine. I I honestly have no idea what that was. Here we go. This is Travelers. You've come at a good time. Wait, this sounds like another commission. Good time for you, not a good time for me. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Safety from what? Huh? What happened? Not long ago, we received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become contaminated. By what? Like, different from the Withering? Contaminated? You mean... A new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest inhabitants won't leave their home so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. But I don't know how. Uh, to, to stop contamination from spreading, you've got to understand how it is spreading in the first place. I know nothing about this. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him. Okay, now this should block off this quest because Tainari is tied up with the Archon quest. Please tell me that's the way it's going to work. Please, please. Yeah, get off my screen. Oh, it didn't say. Oh, damn it. Oh, it doesn't matter! She's freed up! Brilliant, never mind. Let's go. Where are we even going? Oh, here. I was like, I'm trying to look on the outskirts where the yellow is. Ah, the place is in the middle that we've never been to. Alrighty, should we start from the top or we should, st we should start from the road? We should definitely start from the road. Okay, so what does this place look like? Oh, that's a nice building. Looks kind of barren outside of that, but maybe that's just my perception from this distance. Maybe it hasn't just loaded in yet. Yeah. Let's climb this and get higher again. And then, yeah. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to do some climbing here. <laughs> that much has become abundantly clear. We are not gonna make it up this cliff. But I should have enough stamina to climb it. I don't really know, let's just keep turning. God, my ping has not been under 200 in like a year. <laughs> it's always been over 200, it's so depressing. What happens when there are no Australian servers? All right, we want to go to the uh, waypoint first. Oh God, not you. Uh, how high are we talking? I don't see it. There's a Sealy nearby. That way. I see him. No, 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 no one else your opinion. Are you the Sumter Beast? I think these are the Sumter Beasts. This is my assumption. Please don't attack me. I'm coming, Seely. I'm just being attacked by mushrooms, of all things. It's a little embarrassing. A reward on the road. Bye. Yeah, let's just climb. I don't want to go near the ones on the right hand eye, either. Yeah! There it is. Oh, bugger. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Are we going to start the quest, unfortunately? Oh, that's Catherine. E. E to the left, to the left. Nailed it! Ooh, I get five primogems for that. I completely forgot. Oh my god, these, these, these trees look... Hilarious. 
love the colors, but they look hilarious. Okay, so this, this greenhouse looking thing, I'm assuming. That's what they mean by, that's a pretty picture. Studying. Botany. Wait, look who it is! I'm thinking Catherine. One, because we're not supposed to say Nahida, but somehow I think Nahida's going to be mentally trapped in her own body for a while. Hmm. Oopsies, I hit the wrong button. I meant Catherine. Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. Uh, it's, it's Catherine. You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment. Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. I need to an idiot who can't tell a reflection from the sky. Feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. I would agree with that assessment. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Exactly. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. For now, he's gonna get better at what he does, and then we're fucked. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him, just as he was about to capture me. But doesn't he know where your body is? <sighs> What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. You could have just leapt off the balcony and glided your way up down. Like, you really weren't in that much danger. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity yep. when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. What do you mean another one? We don't have any left. You also, were the one we had and it's gone. The doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. We need to hurry up. Position will only get worse with time. Ugh. It feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Well, he is now. Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. I didn't think about the fact that they were numerically in order. I thought they were just given numbers. I didn't think it meant anything. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Stii? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. That is an interesting skill you possess. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. I think we're getting Catherine into trouble with the Adventurer's Guild with having her absent from field. Puh. Killing her career. Is it just the rose? Yeah. Again, I don't know anyone who needs them, but just in case. You never know when you're going to need this for a storyline. That's my theory. Hello, Kimia. 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 So many resumes that sent in every day, only for me to find none that can be used. What's the point? You mean... The Academia welcomes talent from all walks of life. After all, the talented are best known by the want of them. 
But some co-workers of mine are rash to recommend everyone. My desk is now inundated with piles of resumes. With all due respect, most of them are just garbage. The more imbeciles we take in, the more stupid things we'll have to deal with every day. True, you are right to be prudent. It threatens our efficiency. I don't know what's on their mind. Not even one can be used? I'm not saying it is not a single capable candidate, but it's so rare. As for students who graduated from the academia, they may not have working experience, but they have developed good research habits and attitude in years of study. We should give our own students more chances instead of recruiting untrustworthy outsiders with fake reputations. Agreed. I actually 100% agree with you. You don't just bring them in just because you've got to fill a quota. You bring them in because they're actually good at the task you set before them. Do we know this person? I was about to say, I swear that hair looks familiar. It's a Pacia. Traveler? It is you! Where's Tignati? Ah, the voice! It's a Pacia! Long time no see. Didn't expect to see you under your hair. Ah, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada Life? Oh, actually, you, know, she, you two would get along quite well. Oh, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Why do you look so excited about the prospect? Apasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the divine. Real divine or fake divine? <sighs> fake divine. You did it? Congratulations! I'm truly happy for you. <laughs> It's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a fake deity. When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, oh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. You look like it was a bad thing, actually. That sounds incredible! Actually, we're here for Tignati. We're in a hurry, so let's chat next oh, time. All right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. You did too. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. You... you can do that? Do, do you believe in Ahita? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneal with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. But it makes me woozy. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Either she's been tricked and she's about to fuck me over, or we're about to get a one-way ticket to Edmundsul. Okay. Ready? Never. And splat on the floor. Are we going back to Irminsul? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The so third why did was one exactly like me. Why did I create a another for the future. puppet? A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality. 
He broke his promise to me. How is that his fault? How is that his fault? They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> a bit extreme. My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. You or us? Your era is coming to an end. So he wants to become like the new Archon for Electro or, or, or a god. Oh, what was that? Do we find out who the blacksmith was that betrayed him? I don't think it's terribly important, it's just an idle question. I don't, I don't see the blacksmith's role as particularly important, though it is important enough to have turned him to the heartless prick he is now. So, you know, I guess, I guess that's pretty important. <sighs> but just because one god dicked you over and one human let fear get the better of him and another human succumbed to his own mortality, <laughs> I don't know how you're blaming that on him, doesn't mean that every god... It's going to turn their back on you. It doesn't mean that every human is not worthy of trust. I kind of feel like you're taking it a little personally there, sir. And I, I think that's a you problem. You really need to see a therapist and just talk through these emotions and, and understand that not everybody's the same. You know? It's going to you. You totally become a better person if you just chatted to a therapist. Problem solved. This is neither the Greater Lord's consciousness nor King Deshret's consciousness. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know about him. Indeed. But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god. Such a noble will. Such sublime emotion. I'm sorry, are you on crack? A noble will? Wanting to kill everybody and become a god just to do that. It isn't noble in any way, shape, or form. And it's not really what I would call sublime emotion. Is this lady okay? Does she need to be hit in the head to just joggle her noggin? Something's gone very wrong with her. Uh, Nahida, can you do a little bit of a oogly boogly with your fingers and, and make her better? And then she'll go, <gasps> what is this emotion? I never felt before. And, and then she'll realize that you're much better. Alas, shame. If only, if only that which beats within my chest wasn't a... Filthy mortal heart. Dear God. Oh, oh, great and merciful God. Please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Oh, she's one of those now who, who go with the doomsday cult and, and beg to be freed of the mortal chassis. Good Lord. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri porn of life, but rather... Brainwashing? Wake up, Hypatia. I mean, telling her that's not going to do anything. Can you can you really wiggle your fingers and sort this problem out? Ah! You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? No. And even if you had discovered the light in the darkness, does not mean that you deserve praise and honor. You don't just get it. Just cause. Hapasia? That's how I always thought everything should be. Like, really Hapasia? Or just like new Hapasia? Wait, have I... Already lost my mind? Yay, self-awareness! This is beautiful. Yes. Nita! Nita! Don't just let her walk away! Fix her! Ugh. Useless. This is what you get having a dendro Wait, arc on. something isn't right. You mean nothing about what we just witnessed thus far is right? Oh dear. Oh dear. Are we about to be arrested again? Dude, I've been arrested so many times in this game, it's not funny. Look, Catherine. Catherine's innocent. Why are you attacking me? Who the hell are you? Are these mercenaries? Usually they wear red. I don't know you. Please stop attacking me. 
I played Belong to the Academia, but I did Belong to the Academia, that's what I wanted to, and I knew that. Oh, Catherine! <laughs> Catherine just died. Fontaine? Oh, oh Snezhnaya or whoever? We need a new one. I think it's Snezhnaya. We, we need a new, we need a new Catherine. This one's damaged. Ooh, we found a body. Inside the tree? No. Yes. No. Kind of? I see you. Is she inside the academia? Ugh. What's with the construct? Okay, that didn't really tell us anything. Pretty uninformative. Wait, I'm just running blindly? Where'd Tignati come from? <sighs> okay, we finally lost him. But Catherine! We just killed Catherine! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no. Something feels different. <gasps> You're back! Oh! No wonder I didn't understand what was happening. Nahida took over my body while I was off in her body. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, the Traveler's back? Hi. It's, it's me. What up? <laughs> Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. Wait, does that mean if she'd stayed in Catherine's body when uh, Catherine was destroyed, her consciousness would cease to exist? That's a little alarming. Oh, poor Catherine. No wonder we had to do all the Catherine missions before this. Poor Catherine got decommissioned. Next thing you know, you go straight to Samara City and she's there again. After that, Tainari heard the commotion and came over. Can we apologize to he Catherine? He defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. I'm sorry, we've got bigger concerns. Can we go back to Samara City and apologize to Catherine for killing her prior body? It seems like the only right thing to do in this circumstance, even though she didn't know that she was being controlled. Which we should have told her about because, you know, being up front is, is always good and honest. It's time she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our minds swapped places. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Oh, wait. Hi, Tignati. Hi, haven't seen you in a bit. Uh, so I just swapped places with, like, a dendro Arkansas of consciousness. It happens all the time. You get used to it. Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? In her own body? Suspended in a tree root? Probably in the academia somewhere. I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, Why'd you tell you and not Paimon? The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness. So I can't journey with you anymore. To be fair, I expected it before this event. So, you know, it, it was only a matter of time. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. I don't really get your analogy, but okay. <gasps> oh no! Hate is trapped in the sanctuary of Sarah's Donna for goodness time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty big. It's in a code that only we know. Is it? We can't let the doctor figure out what we're up to. Oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Excuse me, Tignati. Can you please just, like, yeet the Akasha terminal off your ear for a bit? Because they can have a tendency to be listening devices. And what I need to say needs to just be private for a little bit. Even Thanks. in a moonless night, a shower of starlight oh, can still phone. drown out illusions and lies. I mean, if, from a non-metaphysical perspective, I, I get that I mean, it makes total sense. I doesn't get what she's meaning. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Correct. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? Did she? It had something to do with Sataria. Well, yeah, I, I figured as much, but Sataria is useless. Sataria is locked up. Or we have to rescue Sataria. 
in which case it has meaning once more. The moon refers to Nahida herself, a starlight refers to the people of the desert, illusions and lies refer to the academia's plans. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh, do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? I don't know. Was she? You're telling me. But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Is that why we abandon Samaria City and go to the desert? Because it's the only way to save her. Hev was wondering the connection between the two. Paimon? You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're Damn, talking he's about... Bright. The consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body is... The Dendro Archon? Damn, he's smart. And the fact that he's believing us to an extent? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. I really think it's time we started explaining ourselves to some people and getting some goddamn allies, Paimon. That's all right. Uh, a scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so I trust you. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensoul. How can they use the restoration of Ermensoul to their own advantage? I don't really see how that could be a bad thing or done in a corrupted sort of way that would benefit them. I think I know what the project is about. I just received some new intel. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? The Academia is turning the Balladeer into a god. Wait, I'm sorry, what? The Academia is doing that? Dude, I th he was doing it himself. Okay, the Academia is doing this. But why? What connection does the Academia have to Scaramouche? None, as far as I can see. But maybe I'm on the outside looking in. What? Do you have any evidence? I saw a nascent god under construction. Hypatia also showed us a so-called divine consciousness. Hmm. You discovered you saw when you exchanged consciousness with Nahida. Hmm. So that's what happened. Everybody likes to That hmm. explains why Hypatia's game. symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's, it's, it's because she made contact with the consciousness of a yeah. new god who is still in the process of being born. And he's a bit of a corrupt bastard, so... Yeah, no. Sorry, Apatia. Sucks to you. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Apatia? Oh, really? I did. I noticed Apatia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's DI and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. Sorry, I'm just thinking of all the different ways that word could be pronounced. Like... Pardistiai, or something a little more inherently not English. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming the S is pronounced and it's not silent because I don't think this is one of the languages where the S's are silent, but again, not familiar with the language in question. And the Dihiai looks like it actually could be one syllable as Tiai, 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 Tiai. Could even be that. Feeling a bit more islander. Southeast Islandy, but still. So, Padis Diai. Something like that. Come on, guys. Tell me how this shit's pronounced. I'm never going to pronounce it that way, but at least I want to know. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Well, sounds like her current life is not much better. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but... I mean, it's right there in the name, Lesser Lord. It implies that they don't think any highly of her. But I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Fatui is also behind some of this, which means nothing to people who haven't run into the Fatui before. If, if he's never had any dealings with them and doesn't really know much about them, saying that he'd be like, what? The Fatui may have fanned the flames. The Doctor and the Balladeer. 
We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. How are we going to get through... Shit, how many Harbinger, Harbingers are there? 11? 12? I don't remember. But somehow, how do we get through them all? We've only had Senorita. No, Signora. Sorry, apologies. Well, wrong word. Signora. And Tataglia, I guess, counts. And now we've got Ilatore and Scaramouche. Somehow, I don't think we're going to take both of them down in this particular instance. But that's still four for, like, four lands. We're kind of falling behind a little bit. If we're trying to, trying to take them all out by the time we get to, to Snezhnaya. Assuming Snezhnaya is the final land. I don't know what order these lands are being done in. From your description, I, I don't next, think they've though, completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. Oh, you know, the fact that Scaramouche isn't currently your fucking deity would be a good indication that they haven't completed their product. Pro project. Same, same. Either product, I suppose. I, th I think the situation in Samaria would be a little grimmer if they had succeeded. But then, what is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermin's soul? That's the question I already asked. Yeah. I don't have an answer. Feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. I really don't know the sage's goals. I'm so perplexed. Let's head to the desert for now. We must stop them no matter what. Right. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know. So we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? We're just going to the desert? Like, I honestly thought this would be a bit longer. I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Papasia. Good for you. I've already written her off, but good for you for trying. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rebat. That'll be your fastest route. Ah, the Caravan Sarai. Yep. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. Of course, it's the only way to get there. Rest May the spirit close. of wisdom go with you. I'm sure she will be with us in spirit, just not in consciousness. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully, Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then. Not. Nah, she's screwed for life. The god gazes back. The four at loggerheads. Adventure to... Oh, we can finally do that one now. Talk to Catherine. So Catherine's... Can we chat to Catherine and go, I'm so sorry about your body. I apologize. I'm kind of glad that you weren't conscious for the pain that your body... Oh, uh, does she feel pain? Must have gone through. It's Surely there's some sort of mental trauma between having your, uh, your body destroyed, right? Even if you're not human and you can't feel it. But does that require human emotion to feel the fear of losing your body? Probably. I don't think she's capable of fear. <sighs> yeah, I don't think she's capable of fear.